What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and oh snap, is it going to be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you find yourself to be enjoying today's video, let me know what your favorite part of it is down there in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias. Links are down there in the description. So today, today, we're taking a look at this. So what exactly is this that we're looking at today? Well, today we're taking a look at Castle Orlock Human Version. This mod adds Castle Orlock, an immense and carefully furnished player-owned castle, to the south of Falkreath. But it was actually designed to be a vampire castle. This is just the human version. So the first thing that you notice is the the immense size of the castle. Let's go and get a let's go and get a full scope of what this thing looks like, and I'll show you where we're at on the map here in one second. But look at how menacing that looks coming through the fog. Insane, incredible location too, because check this out. If we go ahead and clear the weather real quick, look at the view you get, dude. Look at the view. You got the castle, and you got the view. Look at that. That is insane. So we are right here. We are in the mountains. We're right here. Castle Orlock. We got Falkreath right here. Ongi's Camp, uh, Peak Shade Tower, Ancestor Glade. So Falkreath is the main hold that you're going to want to find in order to find Castle Orlock. Now, in order to get into Castle Orlock, it's actually not as easy as you would think. Um, the, the tower does not actually have a chain on the outside. On the inside of the gate, it does have a chain. But, in order to get inside for the first time, go ahead and come over to this watchtower that you see right next to the castle, and go inside. Inside on the wall, you got a pull chain right here. That is to open the main gate of Castle Orlock. Kind of a strange way to have your front door open from the inside of a guard tower, but I guess it's for safety. Probably just to make sure that your guards open the gate for you, but then again, the guards won't open the gate for you. So, you know, it's just kind of a hassle, but that's okay, because as we approach the, the base of Castle Orlock, just the, the immense size and the sheer size of this thing is enough to make anybody crap their pants. And so here we are inside of Castle Orlock. Now this is kind of the main entrance. You know, it's kind of the first part that most of your guests and yourself will see once you walk inside. So you know, you got this big imposing bear statue with a few wolf heads and stuff like that with this massive freaking hearth. But on this side of the hearth, there's a nice pull lever to go ahead and open up the next gate. And then we are inside of the rest of Castle Orlock. Now, right up here, you kind of have a nice little spot to sit, just in case you gotta wait for someone, like maybe your wife is taking too long getting ready, or you got your followers and they need to take a bathroom break, you never know. You never know when you're adventuring in Skyrim, but then when you come around the corner, you got the walk down, and then you have kind of a, uh, it's kind of a common room, a uh, common room, honestly. It's got these big ass pillars, I love the way that looks too, the pillars supporting the, the weight of the roof. Very, very cool. Lots of places to sit down and chill out, read a book, have a glass of wine. It's almost as if it's like a library. That's kind of the feeling that I get from this. You know, you got a lot of bookshelves. You got this main desk right here where you could sit, pop a squat, read some read some books and stuff like that. Enjoy by the fire. Yes. I will say, though, most of the people, if not all get the people away. in this mod, have Fruity Pebble Face, but that's okay. Nothing I couldn't get over. It's not very lore-breaking, because I, I don't really look at the people for me, but other people, they might take it differently. <clears throat> now, up here, on both sides, we've got areas kind of like reading nooks, honestly. You can come up here, grab yourself a favorite book, and then pop a squat in one of these corners, and you'll be good to go. Now, this is the main common area, like I said. There are there are quite a few doors in this castle, In this castle, so let me go ahead and say this at the beginning. I There's a good chance that I may miss some stuff in this castle as far as secrets or even corridors that were right in front of me. So in the event of that happening, guys, I would definitely suggest downloading the mod for yourself to get the most out of it. That way you can see the stuff that I've missed. And hey, if you see some stuff that I did miss, let me know down there in the comment section and I will pin that comment. Um, and that way people can see where stuff's at. So let's go and begin, shall we? So we came up this main staircase, and let's go right. <clears throat> so inside of here, what do we got? This seems to be another kind of... It may be like a drawing room, kind of like a waiting room. That's kind of the vibe I get from this place. I mean, you have a dinner table over here, but it's not really a formal dining table. There's no large throne, you know, there's no uh, fancy silverware. Sure, you got the, the goblets and stuff like that, but it seems to be more along the lines of like a, a waiting room or a drawing room. Somewhere after dinner where you would go in, maybe have some scotch, something like that to kind of wind down and socialize with the members of that party that you just had. Now let's see, what else do we have up here? Open door. I love the giant double doors. They're so awesome. It just feels vampiric, even though this is the human version of this castle. Which I do believe there is a vampire version of this castle as well. 
But I just chose the human one because I thought it looks cooler. Now let's see. What do we have in here? Aha! Perhaps the alchemy and enchanting area? Looks like we got a lot of potions and alchemical ingredients. We have a man sitting in the corner. And yes, indeed, I was indeed correct. So you have a working alchemy lab and an enchanting table. Plenty of storage for books, lots and lots of loose potions and books. Very, very cool. And if you're wondering why the books are glowing, that's a separate mod that I have installed. You can check the description for my mod load order if you want your books to glow as well. Now let's see, what else do we have down this wing? What do we got? Ooh, an armory. A very cool looking armory too. It's just simple, you know? Enough room to store some of your weapons on display cases. Looks like you can stand up here <laughs> and become your own model. Yes, indeed. Very cool. Plenty of armor mannequins, not as much as you see in some big castles, but nonetheless, there are armor mannequins inside of here, and still, there may even be a larger armory within this castle. Who knows? This castle probably holds some secrets. Alright, so we just came down from there. What goes up here? That goes up to the upper floor. We should probably stick one floor at a time and make sure that we see most, if not everything, on the first floor. Now, this door right here, did I close this door again? Yes, I did. That's the waiting room slash drawing room. That was that wing. Now let's go ahead and check this way, shall we? What is this? Oh, hello. The plot thickens. Aha, the kitchen. Oh, look at this. This is a humongous kitchen. Oh, I love it. Hello there, chef. How you doing? Adelo. What do you need? Nothing from you there, pebble face. I like this. Oh, but there's another door right here. What do we got? Oh, the plot continues to thicken. You know what I'm honestly getting the vibe from? I'm getting the Castle Volkahar vibe, which I know this castle was kind of loosely based off of it as far as the, the architecture. Um, but, you know, when you're in Castle Volkahar, I just feel like there's endless corridors. Like, especially that and Raven Castle. Raven Castle, there were literally endless corridors. But looks like you got a lot of loose wine and beer down here. Tons of storage for all sorts of stuff in the event of you wanting to stockpile beer for maybe you're putting together a party or something like that. Always good to have a stockpile of mead and wine to satisfy the kings, ladies, and lords of the land. Now, let's see. What do we have in here? A utility closet. I don't think I've ever seen a utility closet in Skyrim. Look at this. That's kind of cool. Go and close that. Now, let's see what goes through here. What do we got? Another... Hmm, this is kind of an office, actually. This could be a formal dining room because it does have the large throne at the end of the table signifying the dominant member and owner of the castle would sit there with the rest of them, with the rest of his party sitting there. Perhaps this could be maybe like a, um, an office slash maybe like a war room or maybe like a feasting hall for the, the VIPs, you know? You know, you sit here and then your underlings sit here and you can talk strategy, you can talk finances, all of that stuff. So it could be sort of like a, a formal dining room, a VIP formal dining room, we'll say. Go ahead and say that. Now let's see what goes through here. A pull chain. Hello there. Now what do we have through here that we wanted to keep behind the gate? Aha! The sacred area of worship. Very, very cool. It's kind of like a big-ass chapel. I like it. Although I don't think I should probably use the word ass and chapel in the same sentence. But oh well. Deed's been done. Got all the shrines right here, including Ariel, which is kind of cool. Or Ak Akatosh, Mabi. Mabi! Shrine of Debella. All of these. Very, very cool. Very nice. But there's two doors over here. Where do each of these doors lead? What is this? Uh... I don't know. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about going down there. I bet you it's a torture chamber or something like that. Another utility closet. Isn't that funny? I've never really seen utility closets used in any Skyrim home nor castle. But that's kind of funny. Alright, let's see. Was I correct? Was I correct in saying that it's a torture chamber down here? I guess we're going to find out here very... Uh, or the catacombs. That's kind of cool. Okay, so here are your catacombs. Whether or not there will be Draugr down here or skeletons, that's a good question. But kind of a cool thing to come down and explore on your own time. Kind of eerie, I'll give you that. But it is still pretty cool. All right, moving swiftly through the castle. Let's go ahead and come back up the way we came. That's the utility closet. We already saw that. Now this other door over here, where does this lead? Another hallway? Yes, indeed, except this one goes up. Maybe... Oh, hello. What do we got? Oh, I bet you this is where the priest lives? Needs most help. likely. This is most likely where the priest slash minister and any holy, I guess, people would, would live and, and work. This looks like a war room, though. Honestly, it does. Like, you got the map on the table, tons of chairs, shields on the walls. I'm not sure. 
It's an interesting wing to have over here in the chapel side, but that's okay. Now, okay, let's go ahead and make sure that we saw everything on this floor, and then we'll continue to move through. We already... I left the doors open for a reason. That way I knew exactly what I had seen and what I hadn't seen. But it looks as if that's everything that was on this side. So let's go and go up to the upper floor, and that's probably where we'll find our quarters and maybe the blacksmith or anything like that. Okay, another long hallway. I love the expansive hallways in this castle. They're so cool. It really gives you a scale. It really gives you a sense of scale for the size of this castle. So where does this go? Is this the master bedroom? Oh, I bet you it is. Yep, I bet you it is. Let's go ahead and see. Yep. So this is the master bedroom. Not as ornate as I was expecting it to be, but nonetheless, still kind of cool. Still very cool. I like it. Now let's see. That looks sketchy. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. This empty hearth gives me... I don't know. It makes me feel like there's probably something behind it. But okay. Yeah, it's it's a simple master bedroom. I like the decor. You know, I think the lighting is very good. It feels kind of cold in here, though, because of the stone. And you know, I had said this before in another mod showcase, but castles, it's very hard to convey warmth and comfort in a yes. gigantic stone behemoth um, of a building. But... It does a nice job with the lighting. I feel like the decor maybe could use a little bit more, I don't know, comfort. But that's just me. That's just my opinion, you know? Now, let's see. What do we have in here? This could be a guest bedroom, most likely. More books. Large emphasis on books in this castle, which is kind of a nifty thing. And that's a quest book right there, Lost Legends. That's probably the Legend of the Red Eagle, if I'm not mistaken. Search wardrobe. Those are actually wardrobes. Had to make sure. Now, let's see. What else do we have that goes down through here? More guest bedrooms? Oh, hello. Cobwebs. This could be maybe a storage area? Hmm. It's possible. It is possible. Now, what goes through here? Another guest bedroom, it seems? So, this is kind of your living area up here. Your, your master bedroom and your guest bedrooms. Which I would imagine all of these are, except some of them are also storage rooms, it looks like. Either that or there's just empty rooms that have not been finished. Oh, hello. Maybe not. What else comes up here? What do we have? I also love the seating areas around, like, each of the landings. Looks very cool. Looks very, very cool. Now, what comes up here? That goes into the throne room. Wow, you have to go a long way to get to the throne room. Normally, the throne room is, like, right off rip. Oh, but look at this. Dude, this reminds me of something straight out of The Witcher. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so freaking much. You got this gigantic giant... You got this giant council table. That's cool. And there's your throne. Throne of Orlok. That is cool. That's cool. I also love these little flowers slash dead plants that are growing on there. An interesting aesthetic. Another enchanting table, as well as another alchemy lab. And this goes out to Skyrim. If I had to guess, it's a terrace? Oh, man, I was right. Oh, baby. Oh, yes, and now you have the... You, that's a million-dollar view. No, screw that. That is a $100 million view. Holy freaking Jesus. This is beautiful. Gosh, dang, this is beautiful. Okay, so we'll go and continue through the throne room. Let's see. Did we come from here? I don't think we did. That goes to the upper floor. We did come from there. Okay, any other doors throughout here? God, I love the decor in this room, dude. It is, it's so huge. That's what I love about it so freaking much. All right, now let's go ahead and move our way back down, and I believe there's a basement. All right, so the door to the basement, it seems to be in this main library area, and it's right here. I will say, though, it, it can be pretty easy to get lost in this castle. The amount of doorways that you gotta go through, but I will say, it's easier to go through this one than a castle such as Raven Castle with a million doors, but both castles are great. I'm really liking this castle, honestly. Let's see. What's in the basement? Probably smithing? I'm probably... That's my best bet. My best guess. What do we have? Open door. It could also lead to a torture chamber, most likely. Okay, so we have quite a few doors to go through down here. Okay, yes, lots of doors. Now, this is the this is back up to the same way, right? Yes, okay. Sorry if I just gave anybody vertigo going that fast, but I had to see if that was correct. Let's go through this doorway first and see what's through here. Oh, I'm hearing something. Okay, so we have... Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. It's an underground, like, garden. Holy hell, this is cool. 
I didn't expect this. Not one bit. Look at all the bugs. That's so cool. Oh, that's cool. Well, this is a nifty little spot to come and hang out. This is really cool looking. I like the way that rock looks. That looks really cool. Okay. So, what do you need? you've got your own alchemist down here, I'd imagine. That's what she sells. Yes. Potions and ingredients. Very cool. Now, let's see what else we have down here. Let's go ahead and go through this way. And it looks like it branches off. This looks like maybe... Need something. Need what something. is this guy? Oh, Smith? Look. Let's check. Yep. What did I tell you? Blacksmithing is down here. It's probably through one of these doorways. Oh my god, they're sleeping on cots. I've never... I don't think I've ever seen cots in Skyrim. Aha! Here we go! The smithing room. And this probably leads into an armory or something? Oh no, this leads down to the smelter. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like that it's separate from the forge and the grindstone. And let's see, we've got the tanning rack to my left and the workbench right here. Very, very cool. That's pretty nice. I like that. I like how everything is together, but the smelter is separate. Very cool. Now, let's see. What else do we have through here? Let's see. We got to go down here now. What's through here? Uh, looks like... To oh, you know what this is? I bet you I know what this is. This is a changing room because this down here is probably a pool. What did I tell you? Holy shit, I'm amazing. Oh my god, this is beautiful. It just walks straight into the pool. This is beautiful. Holy shit, this is beautiful. Oh my god. This is basically like a pool and a sauna all in one. And I can dig it. Oh, I can dig it. Oh, man. Come down here, eat some cheese, eat some, have some wine, maybe some pastries. After a long day of exploring, all of that stuff. Worry, worry not when you're inside of the pool house. So that is so cool. Now, I do believe that is every single door and every single room within this castle. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is the torture chamber slash jail. Let's see. You gotta what? I mean, what? What castle is fit without a jail? You know? Oh, it's a vault. Look at that. Look at this. Very, very cool. So it comes with a bunch of gold ingots, silver ingots, and loose coins, as well as quite a few. Oh my God! Quite a lot of gold and some diamonds and and uh, jewelry and stuff like that to get you started. So overall, guys, I want to say this castle is one of the best castles that I've seen. It's certainly a, it's a beautiful castle. It has a lot to offer, uh, both for the advanced player and the new player. And I think that's what's cool about this castle. So, you know, with the, the Raven castles and the, the Deus Mons and, you know, the Castle Shellblads, I, I want to say this castle is more of a starter castle. You know, it's one of the, it's a free castle, so you can come here, store all your stuff, have some people to protect you in the event of a dragon attack or anything like that. You know, you have all of the amenities that you need, alchemy, enchanting, smithing, you have a lot of storage, you've got a lot of places to store um, weapons on plaques and mannequins, plus you get to say you live in a damn castle. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's mod showcase, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias. And guys, I will see you in the next video.